Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to set up static web hosting using root 53. Root 53 is DNS service from AWS. Here, I am also going to explain you how we can transfer domain name from another DNS service provider to the root 53 as well because my current domain name is actually registered with GoDaddy. So, this video will provide you double information. Let's start with practical. Here, I have one static website. Right now, this website is actually coming from my local system. I want to host this website inside S3. So, I'm going to the S3 here. I'm going to create bucket. Now, when you are going to create bucket, you have to provide bucket name. For static web hosting, the bucket name must be same as you have your domain name. So here it is my GoDaddy console and here I am going to copy this domain name and providing over here as a bucket name. If you want to use subdomain, you can also provide this over here. Right now, I want to use subdomain, so test.cloudfog.in is my bucket name. Now here, if you don't want to mention this, let's say that I just want cloudfog.in and when I will open website, I will use subdomain. If you want to do this, you can also, but for this, we have to use another service known as CloudFront. Right now, you guys are not aware about CloudFront, so I'm not going to talk about this. Definitely, when we will learn CloudFront, I will explain you that how we can add subdomain using CloudFront. So, going through the straightforward process, here I'm going to provide the same exact name as I want in the URL. So, bucket name is test.cloudfog.in. Now, I'm going to click on create bucket. My bucket is ready. Going to upload a website. So, upload, add files, Selecting all these files and upload. Now, because we are creating this bucket for static web hosting, I have to give a public access permission. So, going to the permission, by default block all public access is always enabled. So, I am going to disable this, confirm. Now, here I have to create bucket policy, going to click on add it. Clicking on policy generator, I am creating this policy for S3. In the principle, I am going to use star because I want this website to be open from anywhere. So, anybody can open means star asterisk. Now, here uh, I am going to say get object. And here in the ARN, I am going to copy this and pasting. And yes, I want all objects to be accessible so using slash star add statement generate policy going to copy this pasting over here and save changes so now my bucket is actually public in order to set up s3 static web hosting you have to go to the bucket then bucket properties scroll down and you will get this static web hosting click on edit enable Host static website and yes, my home page is also index.html. We don't have any error page, so no need to worry. Save changes. Once you set up this, you will get this URL, but it is actually URL provided by AWS. So, yes, the website will open over the internet, but this URL is provided by AWS. I want to use my own URL. In order to set up your own URL, you can uh, register your domain name. I have my domain name registered, but my problem is my domain name is actually registered with root uh, with GoDaddy. I don't want to use GoDaddy. I want to use root 53 AWS DNS service. So how I can transfer this, right? Which is another part of learning as well. So what I'm doing, I'm going to transfer this. First of all, you have to go to the root 53. You have to open DNS service from the root uh, AWS. Here, you have to set up hosted zone. Let me click on create hosted zone. 
Again, we have to provide domain name. I'm going to the GoDaddy and I'm going to copy and paste this. Make sure that you are actually copying. Use copy paste because right domain name is the most important part. Here it is a domain name. Subdomain name will be there. We will create record for this right now. Domain name is cloudform.in. Public hosted zone. Yes, because we want that website to be open from internet. So create hosted zone. Now, once you create hosted zone, DNS root 53 will provide you name server records. Because I don't want to use GoDaddy, I have to inform GoDaddy that these are my DNS servers. So forward these queries to them. So I have to go to the GoDaddy. GoDaddy. In GoDaddy, you have to go to your domain name. Here you will find out DNS. Sorry, sorry. I know that you want to watch full video, but full video is now not available on YouTube. If you want to watch full video, I want you to go to our website. When you will go to our website, you will find out our course 100 days YouTube challenge. I want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from India. If you are from outside of India, you just need to pay 7 US dollar. Once you will enroll to this course, you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal. You are also going to get certificate after completing the course and we have just uploaded 120 videos. We are going to upload another 120 videos as well. So there will be total 240 videos. I hope we are going to meet inside the class. Thank you very much.